Okay guys, this will be part two, masking this thing up for primer. Um, got a little mat flying around in here. But uh, this whole thing's been gone over with 320, all these couple filler, this and a uh, little scratch here were finished out in 320 um, with the glazing putty. Then I took the scotch pad and got in all the little fiddly areas uh, inside the latch and the style lines and so on and so forth. Now, I'm going to mask the back side of this tailgate, just back mask it and drape paper just to try and keep trash from getting up on here. Because basically, where I feathered the stone chips out around the edges, and we have a little stuff like that, not stone chips, rather just chips from use with the tailgate, probably slamming stuff in the tailgate or banging it. Um, the only reason I'm masking it, it really doesn't matter. But the reason I want to do that, um, just on these three edges, the back, uh, which is the top here, I'm not going to mask. Um, so that I don't blow a bunch of primer underneath it and then have to sand that, because I've already prepped the back of the tailgate. So all I have to do is uh, block the primer out in those spots that I'm doing and uh, take a scuff pad and blend it around the edges and then uh, go over the tailgate one last time with uh, probably some scuff soap and a scrubby pad. I didn't want to get it wet today, so I scuffed it dry, and I didn't want any moisture over those uh, filler areas. So basically all I'm going to do is lay my paper, and I'll show you guys over here if you can see it, but I'm going to lay it right side up and tuck the tape under the bottom and then flop the paper back over. Doesn't have to be beautiful. And just again, these sides are clean to scuff. So that's the only reason I'm doing this. So this is just a down and dirty real quick. Do it like that, and then I'll probably tape the paper to it itself, or tape it to the back of the tailgate so it holds itself down. Nothing fancy, just a real quickie. five minutes and doing it.
Nothing too fancy. Siri wants to know what I want, which is nice, I guess, you know, to be asked what I'm, uh, what I'm looking for. up some primer. Now one of these days I'll get a camera that has a quick release. So that was seven minutes to do that. I lied, I thought it was less than five. But uh, we've got this back from the edge here. It's not perfect, but it's good enough for uh, what I'm trying to do here. Just keep the major primer over spray away from the back of this tailgate so I'm not scuffing my brains out. So I'll turn you back on in a minute when I'm getting ready to mix some primer. Alright, I've stirred this lightning primer up with the uh, drill motor on top of that mixing lid real quick. We don't need much for this job. This is a 4 to 1 mix. Yes, 4 to 1. No reducer. We might give it a tiny splash uh, because I do not have that 1.8 tip. I'm going to have to shoot that through a 1.5. My 1.8 tip is boogered up. I've tried to use it a couple times, but it just doesn't want to work. So we're probably going to mix uh, probably three ounces total. a little for the primer grounds. We'll go up a little higher on that. Okay. And we're probably going to do two coats on this. I'm not sure. I might do three, but So, for those of you who are still in question of how to use a mixing cup, or just have never used one before, let's see if the camera will give us some focus and mocus. You can see that's a 4 to 1 column, 4 to 1 to 1. And it's starting to already emulsify a little bit, but uh, I mix the primer to the 3 which is your first column, that's always your product. And then your next column is always your activator or hardener. So I mix to the three in that column with the hardener and I'm just gonna give it a little splash reducer. Which again, this primer does not call for reducer, but I am 98% positive it is not gonna come out of the tip of that gun without a little reducer in it. See what it looks like when I mix it. This stuff isn't real thick, but uh, being a, 
uh, lightning primer or a speed primer. Um, a lot of times these fast activating products, uh, or fast to sand as in this case, um, are not as high a build as say something that you would let set overnight or a couple days if you put a two, three coats on it. Um, these are probably more geared for a production shop. Um, I bought it for the simple fact that it's a, a faster primer, um, but I also found out that it definitely does not build as high, so I found myself repriming stuff that wasn't up to par with the body work, which you shouldn't be trying to fix your body work with your primer, but uh, that should be your final you know, checkup to make sure everything's good. Make sure you stir it, scrape the bottom, scrape the sides. Very important. Just a little dribble of some uh, 870. If I can find an open can of 870. There we go. It's about 75 in here now. It's warmed up a little bit, but I'm just going to give it just a teeny tiny bit because there's not much in that cup. There's less than four ounces of product in this cup. And we'll give it a little longer flash time with that reducer in it. Yeah, that's way too much primer, but that's normal for me to make too much. Get the old respirator out here and get ready to go. That. Of course, if I was smart, I would have my gloves on while I was mixing that. I wasn't paying attention. I probably need a regulator. That wouldn't, wouldn't hurt, would it? Let's do this. Probably not the best vantage point, but that's what I got for now, so we'll go with that.
We'll give that five and uh, we'll come back here and I'll put another coat on it and we'll show you the end product. All right, kitties. Two coats of MP4 2K primer. Done, done. Got all these edges where I feathered it. I think that's going to be nice. I don't see anything ugly uh, showing up where that body work was right there. So I think we'll be all right. Not a big deal. We'll uh, finish that out with some 400 and then some 600. Uh, just real lightly to knock down the 400 scratches. We'll probably do that next week sometime. And uh, it's Friday. I am going to wrap this project up and I'm heading to the lake. So uh, hopefully I can get this uploaded for you at the end of the weekend. Um, I don't know that I'll have time to do it this afternoon. So hope everybody's doing well and we will catch you later. See